Alright, cool. So today, guys, we're going to be looking at another lick. We're going to be looking at a pedal tone lick in the key of A minor. If you don't know what a pedal tone lick is, it's basically the idea that you're reoccurring, you're reoccurringly going back to one note over and over again as you play through a phrase. Uh, just like every other video I talk about, I do have a Patreon if you guys are interested. Uh, the link will be at the top over here and you will have access to tabs if you sign up. Check it out. Very cool stuff. So the lick I played, um, was on the high E string. We're in the key of A minor. This is the lick slowly. It goes. So it's like a Nung Vey thing. Basically what we're doing is we're alternate picking through 16th notes. We're starting at the 17th fret of the high E string. You're going to go 17, 20, 19, 20. The way that I fret this is I use my index finger. Then I go ring finger, middle finger, ring finger. You could also go like this. You could go index, pinky, ring, pinky. Or it's really whatever you, you are more comfortable with. Um, I would encourage you to learn both. But yeah, for me, that's what I'm doing. Index, ring, middle. So that's beat one. We go one, A, and uh, down, up, down, up. You can kind of hear that, that pedal tone thing, sort of like... Um, Obviously, classical music, but like to me, Christmassy music too. What I would do is I would probably get that phrase down before you start moving them around. Each phrase that I'm showing you guys all the way down the lick on its own works very well to practice. Oh. There it is. Anyway, so that's like one. It goes one, A, and uh. Then we're moving it down. We're going to go 15, 19, 17, 19. We're using the pinky finger and the middle finger here. So one A and a, two A and a. Notice that when I shift down, my index finger moves first. Lining me up for the rest of it. Next one, we've got 13, 17, 15, 17. Next one, we've got 12, 15, 13, 15. So that's bar one. One A and a, two A and a, three A and a, four A and a. Practice that. And you're just kind of getting that down. Now, one important thing with this is really I'm just taking the notes of an A minor scale. If you know those notes, um, there's less thought involved to this. If you know the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These ones I'm hitting A, C, and B, and this one I'm hitting G, B, and A. This one I'm hitting F, A, and G, and this one I'm hitting E, G, and F. Next phrase, we've got 10, 13, 12, 13. Next phrase, we've got 8, 12, 10, 12. Next phrase, we've got 7, 10, 8, 7. Next phrase, we've got 5, 8, 7, 8. And we finish on five for a whole note. So slowly the whole pattern. Oh, I'll show you actually bar two first. So it'd be a one A and a, two A and a, three A and a, four A and a, one, two, three, four. Now the whole thing slowly. One A and a, two A and a, three A and a, four A and a, one A and a, two A and a, three A and a, four A and a, one, two, three, four. I know it's kind of annoying that I'm counting along with it, but it will actually help you if you're practicing this to a metronome to have that rhythm in your head. And then as you gradually increase the tempo, you still keep that rhythm. That's how you're going to, even though um, you're increasing the tempo and you're playing it faster, that's actually how you're going to keep it in time and keep it sounding rhythmic. So when you speed it up and you go... This last one to me is a... Is a is kind of like a preference thing. I switch, when I noticed there, when I was playing really quickly, I switched to my pinky and ring, but when I did the opening phrase, I did this. So it really just depends, I guess. I work a lot on my pinky, so like. 
but you can see it doesn't really make any difference. That little noisy bit kind of sucks. You can go the other way with it too. You can start up here. And that's it guys, that's the lick for today. So it's kind of an ungve pedal tone thing. I would encourage you guys to practice this slowly with a metronome and keep working it up. I'll see you guys next week.